Want to make your own custom animated subscribe button that pops up in your YouTube videos like this one? Or this one? Or this one? Sit tight and I'll show you how using Canva. Head on over to canva.com and then hit create a design. We are gonna put in custom dimensions of 1920 by 1080, which is standard size for a video, and then hit create design. Now, the first thing I recommend you doing is grabbing a picture of you in your set so that you can have an idea of where you wanna position the subscribe button. So I'm just gonna grab um, one of my old thumbnails just to give myself an idea. This is me sitting in my set and I can see that I have kind of a gap here, which would be a perfect place to add a subscribe button. Canva has a ton of options. You can really like play around. If you want something ready made, you can click on elements and then we're just gonna type in subscribe. Here are all these different subscribe buttons that you could just grab and you know position um, and just size it however you want. Uh, you could also find something animated. So if you have Canva Pro, you can sort by pro. If you have free, you can sort by free. And then you can also sort by um, static or animated. Say we wanted to find something animated. These are pretty cool and they're already ready made for you, right? So I can just grab this one, size it accordingly and put it wherever I want. The problem with these animated ones is that since they're gifts, you can't customize them. So that's, you know, if you want to make something on brand, you can't do that with these, but there's other ways to kind of animate, animate something uh, that is on brand. So say we wanted to make something from scratch, um, we can head back into elements and then we'll put in button to kind of actually get the shape of the button. Let me uh, take off the animated and then say something, you know, ordinary, just like this. And then um, you can change it to the color that you want it to be. Let me just put blue for now. And then we'll head on over to text and add in subscribe and then uh, subscribe. And we'll just position that accordingly put that on top so it's gonna look something like that. You could also add other little elements like a mouse pointer. So let's take off these filters and put like a mouse mouse click. Um, these are a little insane. Click, all right, cool. So something like this, and then we can position it into the corner, something like that. Um, but yeah, you guys get the idea, oi. Like that and then of course we cannot forget the bell right so here's a bell you can just size that change the color make it on brand um, I just want it to stand out so something like that right and of course once you have an idea of where you want to place your button you can just delete you and then um, the next thing that we're gonna want to do is add our green screen right so grab a shape fill the canvas to be uh, completely covered. And then we're gonna change this to chroma key green, which is the um, green screen color, which is 00B140, bam. And then you just wanna make sure to send this all the way to the very back so all of your elements are forward. Now, if you want this to animate, like obviously this is static, right? If you want this to animate, just click on the back and then the animate button will pop up here. And then you have some animations here that you can choose from. I really like tumble because it, it like brings in everything individually, which I think is cool, but that's totally up to you. The other thing I wanted to show you really quick is another way that you can do a subscribe button, which I think is pretty cool. I'm not going to do it, but in case you want to, you can try this out. You could also put your channel icon, right? So um, we're going to grab a circle and we're also going to grab a circle frame. And then you can put your channel icon in the frame. Um, I don't have my, but I'm gonna just grab this photo. And then we'll make this smaller than the circle. So the circle is peeking out behind it and makes it pop out a little more. And then we will group these together and resize it like this. And then, you know, I kind of have seen something like this where the channel icon is like right next to the subscribe button. So obviously, however you wanna do it, the possibilities are totally endless here. For this example, I'm just gonna export this one and I have it on Tumble, which is the animation that I want. So I'm gonna hit download and then I'm only going to export the one that I actually want, which is this first page. 
and it should do this automatically since there's animation on it, but make sure that you are exporting as an MP4 video and then hit download. All right, once you've got your file, head on over to your video editor. And um, I think I have a place where, bam, I'm pointing to where I wanna put the subscribe button. So I'm just gonna grab my new file and put it right over there. Now Canva, because it has the animated transition, is gonna have the original be white and then it's gonna transition to the green screen with your elements on it. Um, we wanna take out the white. So we're gonna head, we're going to go ahead and cut that out and then add that in. And it's gonna be like, subscribe, yay. Obviously it's still green. So what we're going to do is put in the Kier effect. That's basically so that the program recognizes the green screen and makes it disappear. Um, this might be called something else depending on your program, green screen effect or something like that in Final Cut Pro. It's the Kier, you could search for it here and then um, you can adjust it accordingly. So boom, I point right here. I actually need to move it like way over here. So something like this, bam. The other thing that you can do, which just takes it a little bit, um, you know, just another level is we can add in sound effects. So uh, I think YouTube has a, a sound effect library in the audio library, but your editing program might have some just default sound effects. I'm probably gonna wanna put in a mouse click if we have that mouse, mouse, yep, computer mouse, cool. Bam, so something like this, and just to make it more interactive, um, you could put a bell sound when the bell comes in too. Um, you just wanna make sure that you cut out the, the outro animation because obviously it's white. Um, so let's just take this out, so look right here. And then you could use your own transition in your program to actually have it fly out if you wanted to. I really like subscribe buttons that pop up in YouTube videos because I think they're a really seamless way to remind your viewers to subscribe to your channel without being intrusive, and they're an easy way just to add a little bit more polish to your videos. Now, if you make your own subscribe button after watching this video, I'd love to check it out. Let me know in the comments, and if you want to keep learning how to use Canva to level up your YouTube videos, check out this playlist right over here, and I'll see you in one of those videos. Bye!